first day when I decided to build Skylar, um, well, the first day I decided to build the BBMC 7th Annual Raffle Rally Bike, um, I, was, I was pretty excited. Um, I, I also knew I didn't have a lot of time considering three and a half months for a ground up build was, was gonna keep me busy. Um, but yeah, I remember uh, Shannon mentioning that he had a CB350 in his garage, and I was like, perfect. And so I started, you know, I didn't have a lot of choices of which bike I'm gonna build, so, but I was, here's a CB350, um, and do what you possibly can to this bike and make it a custom. Last year, the theme was more cafe, you know, and so this year I was thinking for it to be more of a brat style bike. Um, and also just, just things that, that influenced me in the past, I wanted to add those bits into this build. Um, so the build was on and one of my BBMC brothers, Tomas, he, he went over Shannon's house and just completely took the bike apart and then brought the bike to my garage, the prospect shop. Um, and here's my build, it's in boxes, and tons of boxes, the frame is bare, um, which was a huge help for me though, but it was just overwhelming to just see all of these parts. <laughs> and I'm all, I'm just like, where do I begin? And so the build was on. Uh, the first thing that I attacked was the motor. I took the motor apart and, um, uh, and I, I realized that the motor was pretty shot the needed rings, the valves didn't look good, the little plastic roller, the timing, the little plastic roller guides that are in CB350s, they, they are prone to breaking apart and this one just grenaded pieces all over the place so I knew how to dig deep into the motor and, uh, and clean it out. Hey guys, my name is Scott Delala. I am in my shop today, Prospect Shop. Um, I am a proud member of the VVMC and today I started building our raffle bike for the rally. Um, it's a CB350 and this build is in collaboration with Shannon Sweeney from SS Classics, another brother from the VVMC. And today what I started doing is just took the motor apart and have the heads, I have the head here with the cylinder and we're going to send this off to the machine shop so we'll check we'll check the clearances and we'll redo the valves etc on on the motor we're going to take off anything that's aluminum send them to the polisher clean the motor up new rings uh check the timing chain you know just make it nice and clean um over here with the frame we have uh just a bare CB350 frame stock and we're gonna I'm gonna clean this up take all the tabs off it I'm gonna cut the rear put a rear loop on it maybe kick it up a bit build a seat that will go with the lines of the frame and and with uh, and with the with the loop I'm gonna lower it down about two inches maybe put 11 inch shocks on it bring the front down about two inches um, I'm gonna put Firestone tires on it it's just going to be um, going to make a pretty cool tracker or brat style bike, and um, yeah, we're going to sell raffle tickets. All the information will follow this video, and uh, the winner will be revealed at a rally in September. So stay tuned for that. Follow us on Instagram at Venice Vintage Moto Club, and also follow us on Facebook, just VVMC, and you know we'll we'll, we'll update you with the build. Anyway, um, take care from Prospect Shop. I remember my first, my first challenge of the build was I forgot that the CB350 um, had what's called a stamped frame. I thought it was a CB, I was thinking more of a CB360, which the whole frame is a, a tubular steel. And the CB350, about half of it's tubular steel and another portion on top of the frame and, and sort of the, the seat where 
the, the subframe is like what's called stamp steel. And it's just a, a press steel. And it's just, it's like taking two pieces of steel, pressing them together and they cause a seam. And so a lot of it was not tubular, it was more like angled. Um, and so that was a little frustrating when I realized that because I was integrating a rear loop, which was, which was a steel, you know, round steel piece of, of material. And I had to integrate that into this really ugly angular boxy steel. And so I've, I've never integrated the two together. So I wasn't sure if I was able to come up with a solution that would make it look seamless. Um, so I just did tons of research online and you know asked around and I discovered that the best way to do it is to cut it right uh, short of the rear shock mount and it becomes like an L, like a 90 degree angle and the, 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 uh, the steel, the round sort of, the, the rear piece would fit pretty nicely and I would put a slug in there, a piece of, piece of smaller round steel so it can help my welding and it'll, it'll sturdy, make that rear a lot more sturdy. So it worked out, you know, it was, it was exciting to see. So uh, as you'll see in the videos, I will, you know, I, I, I definitely tackle that challenge. Um, and it worked out well. Hey guys, another small update from Prospect Shop on the BBMC Raffle Rally Bike. Uh, finished um, mocking up or framing the seat. Uh, this was definitely inspired by my buddy Dustin Cott, who is an amazing cafe racer, motorcycle builder. Um, I integrated the bolts into the brackets, welded them in here, so when we place it on the frame, we can just fasten this with wing nuts. And then, of course, we weld in the plate and uh, shape it, and she'll be ready for our brother Ron from One Too Many, who will wrap this with leather and make it look great. So, come with me over here. Uh, hang on. So, on the motorcycle. Fabricated, uh, let's see, got the rear loop on and just got to clean the welds up. Probably weld it some more in here and just make it look nice. And then I fabricated a little bracket here to hold the front of the seat and then two here that will meet with the, with the rear. So if we put the seat on, it should fit right in and uh, yeah goes well with the loop and it's getting there so that's a quick update sorry it's hard to film and talk but here's some information please visit us at www.venicevintage.com and follow us on Facebook, VBMC, Instagram, Venice Vintage Moto Club. And thank you. I've been working on motorcycles since I was a kid, but I, the fabrication portion of building a bike, I've only been into for the last, for the past six years. So this was my first ground up build completely um, I had the funds, I was given the, the money, and this was my chance to completely build a motorcycle. And um, uh, I got into fabricating probably right around, or right after my first film, Chopper Town. Um, just seeing the Sinners uh, build Cuddy's bike, it was just so influential. Another quick update on the VVMC rally bike. And today I'm getting into the motor. So let me switch the camera around. So we cracked the egg. Let's see, as you can see, I opened the motor up so we can put new seals everywhere. 
and uh, we move on to here and I'm going to install a new cam chain guide. The old style is plastic, crappy plastic rollers, so they break apart. As you can see, this one is badly chipped, and uh, those pieces will get into the motor and cause major damage. This K&A performance part goes well with this timing chain. So we're going to put a new timing chain in here so we have the bottom end really nice and new. This is all my seals that I'll put in so we don't have any leaks. But when you put this new performance part in, it's going to require that your head is cut in a certain area. And I want to thank Chad Williams out there for giving, giving me the measurements for the cut and Kelly's Machine Shop for cutting it. The heads are done, brand new valves. The cylinders are honed. Everything is looking nice. We have the frame getting there. We have the seat finished. The seat's going to be off to Ron at one too many for uh, wrapping it in leather and foam. Uh, so it's nice and cushiony. And the frame is going to go up to Bob's at Glenrock Cycles next week. And he's going to fit in his really cool tiny battery and uh, you know, get him to wire it. Great shop, if you guys never heard of him, his, uh, he does some amazing builds. And uh, it's like a one-stop shop, he does everything. So, Bob Edwards at Glen Rock Cycles, shout out. So, that's it, I wanna keep this short because I got a lot of work to do. Someone's actually has, has to win this spike and it has to be together. It was exciting to me to see if you didn't have a part, you made a part. And it was very similar to the way things were in the 60s. Um, and so these were the sub-themes of my films. And, and it later came out a lot in, Brit, in Brittown and the Harbortown Bobber. You know, especially watching Earl Kane. Um, there's some definite big influential parts of the Schuyler build that came from Earl Kane. Um, for one, the license plate bracket uh, was, was sort of the way he did it. You know, just cut out a big, thick piece of steel, kind of slip it behind the swing arm and, uh, you know, bolt it to the frame and then weld on the back piece. And I integrated uh, the tail light to the, um, to the bracket. Hey guys, this is Scott, uh, the builder of the BVMC Rally Bike. I'm going to give you another update here at Prospect Shop. Um, over here we have the motor. is got it back together. Um, things are back from the polisher. Everything's painted. Looking good. Going to do the timing soon. <clears throat> but that's, that's what she's looking like. Over here I'm fabricating a license plate bracket. Something like that. It's going to take a while. And over here, we got things back from the chromer, as you can see, right down in here. And over here, we have Eddie Tubit working hard. See him right through the frame? What's up, Eddie? Frickin' Scott having me clean do all that jackass work. <laughs> He's doing the hard work, the tough stuff. And the frame is back from Andrew's powder coating. I mean, it's looking really nice. I mentioned this at the rally while I was uh, thanking people, but there's so many components, people and companies um, that are part of a build. And at the end of this, I'm going to thank people because it's just too many to, to, to mention. But the, for me, and this was also, you can see this in, in my movies, especially Chopper Town, uh, it's about friendship and, and people lending a hand that gets the job done. And if it wasn't for friends, and uh, my BBMC brothers, and even companies that gave us some discounts on parts, um, it just wouldn't go as smoothly. You know, it, it, it takes, there's a lot of moving parts, and any helping hand is appreciated. And so, and so not only that, it's just, it's just fun. You know, if, if the stress, if, if it's not a time-sensitive build, it's, 
it really is a good time to, to just hang out with your friends and wrench on a motorcycle. And, uh, and that's what, um, that's what, that's what it's all about. Hey guys, this is Scott at the Prospect Shop in another update video. Um, this is, this is an exciting one. It's all together. It's, uh, well, it's a roller. It's not done, but it's looking really good. Let's go take a look at it. There she is. Got some Firestone tires on it. Right now I'm making a bracket for the Speedo up in this area. Mounted a little bracket for the headlight that's going to go on it. You know, just a lot of little things now, which is taking a lot of time. But let me back up. Hagen shocks in the back. She's dropped about two inches. Of course, she'll get lower once the motor's in it. Andrew's powder coating, they did a great job. We have Joel painting it at the moment. The tank will be back this weekend. And then it'll go up to Glam Rock Cycles to get wired. The VVMC, an acronym for Venice Vintage Motorcycle Club, um, we've been around um, for uh, probably about eight years, maybe a little bit longer from the, from the guys who, who started it. Um, I, came, it, I came, Shannon Sweeney and a few other guys, uh, Jeff Fergus, you know, started to ride around and, and call themselves the Venice Vintage Motorcycle Club, and it mostly started in Shannon's garage. Um, and I came around not long after uh, they started, and I, I, I met Shannon while filming Brittown at one of the races, and uh, he was telling me about it. And then I was invited eventually on a, on a Wednesday night ride. And uh, it was great, you know, we just meet at Shannon's place, a bunch of us, and we just bar hop around town. And I uh, had a good time. Hey guys, it's Scott at Prospect Shop with another exciting update on Skyler, the raffle bike. Um, well, besides my new haircut, I do have I do have something really cool to show you. Uh, yesterday, Joel just uh, dropped off the tank. It's all painted. Looks beautiful. Um, and Ron is going to drop the seat off later on today. There she is. Looking really good. Got the pipes on. The tank. Let's see if we get a closer look at the tank. Really big metallic flakes in there. The Honda is going across. We have the pipes are on, but I have to still mount them. I have to make a little bracket. So constantly through the build, you know, I'm, I'm wondering who's going to win this bike. I mean, these are thoughts that are constantly going around inside my head. Um, are they going to live in Southern California? Are they going to be, are they going to neglect the bike? Are they going to take care of it? Um, would I ever see it again? Uh, so I guess inside my heart, I was hoping someone won it not far from me. That's one of my wishes. Uh, I guess ideally it'd be great if one of my friends won it because I get to see it all the time. Um, I couldn't buy a raffle ticket. The BBMC members couldn't buy a raffle ticket. So the next best thing was just friends who are buying it or people in the community. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it, the way this story ended was uh, you couldn't write it better. All right, here's the moment we've been waiting for, guys. I'm a little nervous here. What's your name? Wait, wait, what's your name? What's your name? Layla. Layla. Welcome, Layla. And you're going to pick, do you know what you're picking right now? You're picking the winning ticket for Skylar. Do you like Skylar? The motor... Okay, reach, 
reach in there, and I want you to pick one ticket. Uh, who dropped? <laughs> Let me see. Lucky winner. It's going. It's going. Oh my God. Jason Lewis. <laughs> up to and she drops one you know and I always wondered who was the one she dropped so she hands me the ticket the remaining remaining ticket she hands it to me and uh, I just look at it and it said Jason Lewis you know most people might know him as uh, Smith from Sex and the City but this is this is my bro this is my good friend and he won it and I just couldn't contain myself I was wondering what the audience would think you know like yeah, uh, here's here's Scott, the builder's friend, uh, won the bike, but it was fair and square, and that wasn't the special part. I mean, that was special, but it was what what Jason did next that made this whole experience like mind blowing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love Scotty. I even got the shit work of getting a little cleaning on the engine on this thing. I thought I'd get to learn shit. But I promised if I won this, it would go to Shannon. And there you have it. Jason comes up on stage and he just instantly, he takes the mic, he says a few words, and then literally gives the bike away to his friend Shannon. And Everyone was just like, whoa, this guy just gave a $10,000 bike away. And uh, people were blown away. Shannon came up and he tried to, you know, he accepted it. And he tried to give an acceptance speech, but he just couldn't speak. I mean, this guy was just, you know, he, I don't, he couldn't handle it. I mean, it was insane. Uh, who could? I mean, he was just given a bike. And I remember that day, Jason came up to me and he said, Scott, because if I win this bike, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it to my friend. And I was like, dude, I hope you win the bike. <laughs> you know, I, more than anything, I hope you win the bike. And um, it's exactly what happened. He won the bike and he gave it to his friend. I bought two, but I can't tell you what I grown up. Oh, this is the most beautiful thing ever, and I don't. I, I can't say anything else. I'm sorry. Thank you all. Is that copacetic? Do we do this right? Thank you. How's it feel, Shannon? It feels fucking good, man. I can't wait to go on ride on Wednesday. Let's see, put the key on. Nice. Uh, all the way back is on. Just middle. Middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this will be awesome. Ride the dickens out of her. I will. <laughs> 